There are plenty of talking points after Manchester United's 2 all draw with Arsenal. You know, the madness of the goals that Man United conceded, effectively scoring two own goals, really. Man United and the great response that we had to score quickly after conceding both times. The attitude and desire from the majority of the squad, especially Marcus Rashford. How well the likes of Bay and Rojo played overall, despite only playing a few minutes so far this season. There are a lot of talking points. But there was an overall lack of quality during that 90-minute period against Arsenal. And that brings me to the purpose of today's video. I want to focus on what Jose Mourinho had to say in his post-match interview after the full-time whistle against Arsenal. Now, before we get started, if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Join the United People's TV community. Lots of content every single week, so make sure you get involved. In his post-match interview, Jose Mourinho said there were positives to take from that game. Really concentrated on the soul of Manchester United and what he saw. But mysteriously, he said that there were certain things that he couldn't get from players inside his Manchester United squad. Here's what he had to say. So in terms of moving ahead then, the fact that these players are coming back, the fact that you'd be able to, you asked them to sacrifice for tonight and you got that, yeah. is that a positive sign? Yes, it's a positive sign, but there are things that uh, I cannot get from them. And I cannot say much more than, uh, than this, but big, big soul, everybody gives everything. That is, that is for sure, and that is a, a positive feeling. So it's not about, the, it is about ability or it's about concentration? What's the thing you are looking for players to do? I cannot tell you much, much more. I, I prefer just to say that I'm, I'm happy with, um, with the soul, the commitment, the bravery. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Now, Ryan Giggs had his say on Mourinho's comments and he felt that Mourinho was alluding to a lack of quality in Man United's squad and that is what he was referring to. Here's what Giggs had to say. I mean, the only thing that I can think of, and he touched on it there, before Arsenal scored, United were in a good moment, keeping the ball. Arsenal couldn't get out for the second half mm. without creating anything, though, without any real quality. And all I can think of is <coughs> was that final pass or mm. it was that little bit of quality that he's talking about. And in another separate part of that interview with Jose Mourinho, an earlier part, Mourinho again points towards the soul and the attitude that he saw on display against Arsenal as positives, but went into a little bit more detail about the lack of quality that he saw from Man United against Arsenal. Here's what he had to say. We, we shoot ourselves so many times during the season. That is really, really difficult, but big soul by the players. Fantastic attitude from the first minute. Uh, many players in, in difficulties. Uh, some some good performances, but players in difficulty. Uh, Diogo Lauro, the first start. Uh, Marcos Rojo, the first minute. Uh, Mateo Damian, the, the third start. Uh, Eric Bailly doesn't play for, uh, for a couple of months. Uh, Chris Smalling, a brave guy to play uh, in, with such difficulties he, he had. So really difficult, but the, the boys, they left. They left their soul, they left what they have. And uh, when sometimes people speak about uh, the quality, uh, yeah, but you, you had pace, you had aggression, you were asking the players to play yeah. simple, uncomplicated yeah. football. You got that. Yeah, it's true. We had that, but we should win. Yeah. We should win the game. We we made two big mistakes for their for their goals. We made our other mistakes that were the mistakes that allow them to have counter-attack situations, uh, easy passes that we lost, easy controls that we lost, things that at the high level normally you don't, you don't do it. And then again, our performance is a little bit marked by these ups and downs. And, and uh, the second goal is, uh, comes in, in, in an awful moment for a team that in this moment was um, in the top of the game. Now, what I want to know from you is, do you think Jose Mourinho is right here in that there is an overall lack of quality in Manchester United's squad. Do you think Giggs is right in the fact that Mourinho is talking about that lack of quality in the squad? Or do you think maybe there's something else going on behind the scenes that we're not privy to as United fans? For me, there are a few things to say about this interview. First and foremost, United do lack that quality in defence. It doesn't even have to be said anymore. It's the biggest weakness in this squad. It doesn't really matter who plays, what formation we've got, what style of play we're playing on the day. United's defence 
is pretty abysmal. I think we've kept two clean sheets so far this season. And even David De Gea is having a wobble. We saw again a massively uncharacteristic mistake from somebody who's normally so rock solid at the back in David De Gea. But that's happened a couple of times this season. You know, selection and change isn't helping United because we can't keep a stable back four or back five. And that's what you need in the defence. You need stability and reliability so the same players play every single week and begin to build a defence together. Now, this is Jose Mourinho, a, a man who's built his entire career on watertight defences on 1-0 wins. It just doesn't happen at Manchester United because the defence is not good enough. And with the defence, it's not just in the actual defending that they are poor. Because our inability to play out from the back with the ball is massively hurting Manchester United's ability to play football. Because instead of passing it out from our defenders into our central midfielders who then look up and try to find players along the ground with shorter passes, we're looking for either the wing backs or the wingers and going long. If Lukaku's on, we're going long to him. Because the defenders are not linking with the midfield. And that massive gap really hurts United's football and style of play and has done for some time now. And until the time where it changes, where, I don't know, we play the central midfielders like Fred, who are more willing to drop deeper than, say, Matic or Herrera were, I don't think it will change. And on the topic of Fred, you know, you see Fred at 50 million signing in the summer, who's hardly played a minute for United, really, overall this season. Mourinho instead choosing to stick with Nemanja Matic against Arsenal. Somehow, Steve McManaman gave Matic the man of the match. Don't know whether it's me just being harsh on Matic, but I thought he was painfully slow and one or two yards behind Guendouzi the entire game. So I don't know how he was given man of the match. Maybe I'm wrong in that. But Matic never showed himself to United's defence, to Smalling, Bayern, and Rojo, to receive the ball, turn and face the opposition goal and look for a teammate. And neither really did Ander Herrera. Now, was that a tactical choice or was that down to the fact that they're not those types of ball-playing central midfielders? Now, we all know Ander Herrera is. So that must have been down to tactics in that regard. And choosing not to play Fred means that Mourinho knew what he was getting into in terms of the ball-playing central midfielders not really playing the ball, instead negating the midfield and going wide to either Delot or Darmian. And it didn't really work for United. And of course, Paul Pogba didn't start against Arsenal. And talking about Paul Pogba raises another question from that Jose Mourinho interview. Is he alluding to the fact that there are certain players in his squad that aren't really willing to play for him, rather than simply some of the players in the squad not being good enough? Now, Paul Pogba, we know everything that's happened between Mourinho and Pogba. It's been... Messi, it's been horrible. Sometimes Pogba's great, sometimes Pogba's shit. Same can be said about Jose Mourinho. But is Mourinho alluding here to the fact that there are certain players in this United squad who just aren't willing to play for Mourinho? Because Mourinho, judging from that performance against Arsenal, hasn't lost the dressing room. Because that was, there was a hell of a lot of attitude and commitment in that. A lot of desire there we haven't really seen. And that's, for me, why I took quite a lot of positives in my post-match reaction, which uh, some of you disagreed with, some of you did agree with. We haven't seen that much from United this season. And in a season of lows, you've got to try and take the positives. And that's why I took those against Arsenal. But maybe there are certain players. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Maybe like of Pogba. I don't know who else you would point towards in that squad. Let me know what you think. Are there players in this squad, quality aside, that just aren't playing for Mourinho because they don't want to? And overall, I want to know from you what you think about Mourinho's comments here. You know, is he right? Is there a lack of quality in this squad? Are our individual mistakes costing us a lot? Or is it Mourinho himself being the problem rather than the players? Or are there maybe certain players in this squad that just aren't really willing to play for Jose Mourinho anymore? Let me know what you think about these comments from Mourinho in the comments section below as always. And if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Come on, get involved in United People's TV. Great community here. But it's a bit of a strange interview, really, from Jose Mourinho, isn't it? I want to know what you think.